Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make double fold bias tape. This is a great um, tool for binding raw edges uh, on your fabric and it can also be used for doing a clean finish on seam allowances. Please subscribe to this channel for more sewing tutorials and check out my Etsy shop linked below for more patterns. The first step is to get your initial 45 degree cut and from then you you can cut the strips off of that um, cut. So what you want to do is you're going to measure um, take the measurement of the shortest side of your fabric and I'm using a pretty small um, portion of fabric right now. This is uh, 15 by 19. But if you've got a piece of fabric that's a yard long, that's great. You can use it. Um, I'm just showing you with a small piece just so that it can fit into the frame. Um, so you want to take the measurement of the shorter end of your fabric. So this is my shorter end. So I'm just going to use my clear ruler here, and that is, let's see, that is 14 and 3 quarters inches long. So I'm going to measure that same distance here to 14 and 3 quarters inches right here you can mark it with taylor's chalk i stuck a pin in it now i'm going to do a little snip okay just to show but you can mark it with taylor's chalk if you prefer and then you're going to do use a, a long ruler to go from that corner that you initially measured from all the way to your measurement. And then I've got this cutter here that's great for quilting. Um, I'm gonna use, if you don't have one of these, you can use your tailor's chalk and draw a line and then cut it with scissors, that's perfectly fine. But these are really handy and fast. So I'm going to cut that. And now I've got a perfect 45 degree angle here. Um, and I can cut all of my strips based on that. Uh, it's really handy to have a clear ruler for this um, and a really long ruler. So let's say I wanted to make half inch wide double fold bias tape. I need to multiply whatever my end measurement is by four. So that's going to give me a two inch wide strip. If you want to make five eighths of an inch wide double fold bias tape, then you're going to need to cut two and a half inch wide strips. So I'm going to find two and a half inches on my ruler. And I'm going to place that here. And luckily this ruler is just long enough. I line it up with that line that I cut before. Use my rotary cutter. Keeping it flush with the ruler. And I've got my strip. And you'll keep cutting strips that same width parallel to that original 45 degree cut. Give yourself some extra length too. So if you need four yards of bias tape, I would say go ahead and cut out five yards worth of strips um, so that you just have plenty of extra. Let's say some of your strips have an edge that's not at a 45 degree angle to the strip itself. Like here you'll see on the right edge, I have this weird curve at the end of the strip. I don't want that. I want to have straight cut that's 45 degrees 
from top and bottom edges of the strip. So we're going to need to make that end a 45 degree cut. So you want to um, draw a line um, vertically and then draw a line, draw a marking horizontally the same distance away. So if my strip is two and a half inches tall, then I'm going to make a mark two and a half inches away from that vertical line. And then I'm going to draw a diagonal line connecting that initial vertical line top to the marking. And that's going to give me the 45 degree cut that I need when I'm seaming these strips together. Go ahead and cut on that line with scissors or your rotary cutter. Now we're ready to pin our strips together and you need to um, decide what your seam allowance is going to be. I'm going to use 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance so I've got this ruler set to 5 eighths of an inch and I want the two pieces to intersect at 5 eighths of an inch down from those top edges. So adjust the placement of the strips as necessary until they intersect at the correct measurement. And of course you want right sides together and you want to line up those raw edges. Place a few pins along that raw edge and then you're going to stitch with that seam allowance you decided on. So I said 5 eighths of an inch so I'm stitching it with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. You can backstitch at the beginning and end, and your seam should intersect right where those two pieces meet. Keep doing that for all of the seams that you've pinned together. So I think I'm making about five yards of bias tape in this, and I have uh, maybe four seams that I have to stitch together. Then you're going to finger press those seams open and press them open with your iron. And trim off those triangle edges that go past the edge of the strip. Now we start pressing this. So first you're going to fold it in half lengthwise and make that crease down the very middle of your strip using your iron. Now we're going to make our creases on the side. So you're going to fold the top down into that middle crease and iron. And you're going to take the bottom up and fold it into that middle crease so the raw edge is just meeting that middle crease and iron. You're going to go all the way down doing that and then you fold it over again and iron that. Your bias tape can be used to bind edges. Um, you'll see here I'm binding the edge of an apron baby towel that I have as a pattern on my Etsy store. You can also use it to bind um, the interior seams to give your garments a nice clean finish inside. Check out my other tutorials for this great bath collection that features bias tape. You can find the baby bath collection patterns and many other sewing patterns at my Etsy shop linked below. Thanks for watching and happy sewing!